I'm still on that matter. We have joining us live Barrister Jaro Igbo. Good morning, Barrister. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, although this revelation of alleged looting is coming to light at this time, it is apparent from the documented allegations that these said events must have occurred over a period of time and have become systemic. Would you agree? Well, uh, there are no organizations when, where there doesn't have the element of corruption. But I think what is happening in NDDC is uh, politically inclined over the years. Some of the persons there have seen the NDC as a cash cow for the region. They come in there, get their cash cow, uh, get the cash, rather than develop the region, they cut away the cash that is meant for the development of the people. So it has come to a head, and that is uh, what is actually happening there. And uh, based on that, when the uh, Mr. President announced there would be a forensic audit of all what has been going on there for the past 20 years, all Nigerian dancers were very happy. But to our surprise, there are some persons, there are some interests there that don't want to see that happen. And it is what is playing out in the commission as I speak to you. Well, Barista, what, what do you say to the viewpoint that the said events, if proven to be true, uh, would be yet another evidence of our failure to work within transparent, accountable systems? <clears throat> Now, the problem the commission has, I think, it has to do with uh, the power of uh, the, the committee, the National Assembly Committee, to do oversight over the commission. The oversight committee, the oversight uh, function, has not turned out to be an albatross. Because you see, when you, the commission goes there with a budget of 10 million era or 10 billion era, by the time the, the, the budget returns to the commission, it will be 20 billion, and they will insert everything insertable. And then they are also contractors. That is the problem we have with the commission. That is the root of the corruption that is going on there. And the things that are, they are talking about the commission right now, they are mind boggling. I am not here to defend the uh, interim management committee, but I am also not here to say that the National Assembly. Uh, are doing the right thing. Because if they say they are going to do a forensic audit, they should wait for that to come and before rushing this, their, uh, their investigation they want to do. Because people now believe that they want to cover their tracks. Over the years, they been the biggest contractors of the commission. Mm -hmm. I mean, that I is the position. As someone who has worked with the NDDC barrister, this is not the first or last allegation of systemic looting at the hands of, you know, government parastatals. Even the House of Senate were recently accused of paddling the COVID-19 budget by the NCDC chief. Now, how do we begin to plug the gaps in the systems that currently fails to inspire confidence in the Nigerian people? <clears throat> we will start with the National Assembly handing off the control of that uh, commission. Their overbearing influence is not good for the daily operation of the commission. In a place where it is where uh, the budget will take there and the budget they bring back is quite different. It is not healthy for the commission. So if they want to stem the corruption, we will start with the National Assembly. The National Assembly was hand off. Any National Assembly member who wants to come there as a contractor because you have inserted overblown projects are not in the interest of the people of the Niger data. And then you are the one who insert and you are the one who will be awarded the contract to. That is the root of it. Mm -hmm. Then there's another thing about the staffs that are there. Some of the staffs there, they are richer than the commission itself. So, and there are no way to discipline staff that are, that are infringing the law. Just to be sure, the, the, sorry, Barrister, just to be sure I heard you right. You said there are staff within the NDDC that are richer. Is that what you said? Yes, they are richer than the commission. I, I know what I'm talking about because I've been associated with the commission for the past uh, 10 years or thereabouts. I know directors who are richer than the commissions. Uh, so some of them have been sent to, some of them are facing a series of investigations with the either EFCC or ICPC. So these people here, they are there. Once you don't do their bidding, then they, they call for your, for your downfall. So it is a multi-pronged uh, dimension to fight the 
the, the, the rot that is a uh, that is not uh, bedeviling the commission, the staff on one side, the national assembly on one side, and then the political the politicians that come there to to loot through their uh, supplements. Mm -hmm. So it's a multi pronged thing. It's not about uh, uh, the IMC that is there now. The thing has been on for, for the past twenty years. There are more of completed projects than completed projects in the in the region. On completed projects are littered everywhere. They collect money and then they they bought away. And nobody's talking about anything. But who gives them? Who pay them the money? And all the staff of the commission that uh, prepared uh, their payment. So what now? What is the punishment that are meant to staff who issue all this payment uh, uh, certificate to them to, to contractors who do not complete their projects? And that brings there is nothing to this question. Uh, very uh. That brings me to my next question. You talked about projects that are uncompleted. Now, these yeah. white elephants, is it a question of not researching or not finding out what the need is? Or, or you know, people just come and impose what they imagine is the need for the people? Is that what that is, is playing out here? Yes. And it, the blame squarely goes to the National Assembly members. If, for instance, we need to complete the East West Road for 10 billion era, and then you send it to the National Assembly for passing, then at the end of the day, the National Assembly comes with another thing that no, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, we don't want uh, East West Road to be completed. We want uh, solar light to be installed in places where they don't even have roads. And then they pass the law. The commission is duty bound to take what they pass for them. So the, the same man who inserted that uh, that project, we also write that to recommend the contractor. Because if you don't play along with them, they would uh, pass your budget anymore. So that is the problem I tell that. That is why you have ele white elephant projects everywhere. Right. Now, should, should, should this, all of these be exposed and the truth come to bear as it is? And maybe these looters are eventually caught. Uh, are you hopeful that they will be adequately punished or, you know, they will, justice will be served, for lack of a better word? Of course, if, uh, if, if uh, the National Assembly and all those interested parties and all those contractors, if they allow an unimpeded forensic audit, everything will be reviewed. Everything will be reviewed because when you see payment of, uh, for a project that is not completed, and their demand is paid 100 percent then those who are responsible should face the law mm. they should face the law so that uh, others will live as a uh, deterrent from those who have already been uh, uh, punished but where people like that are not punished then people have uh, the mind to go and uh, follow the same and suit and also look the place blind that is what we are facing right now in ndc all right, Barista Jaro, thank you for your time and your thoughts on news on the R this morning. Stay safe out there too. Thank you for having me.